Tom was just expecting the move to happen, left the door open on the exit, and Thomas won off, as any one of these drivers would do, I don't think anyone who's done lead racing would do. He tried to fill that gap, but was not quite able to do so. What this pace has done is briefly got Max Wiesel outside of DRS range, as you can just see the grip Ronald's got at the moment, coming out of turn number two, having to lift out of the bottle to avoid slamming into the back of the Williams man. He's going to be getting a bit frustrated at the moment, but I think he knows he's got the pace. Almost able to get alongside there. Coming up towards the Degners, could we see an attempt into the hairpin again? Well, we'll have to wait and see. Is off the exit of Degner 2 now. Is he going to use the battery indeed? He will. Is Alvaro Carlton going to expect this one? Defending slightly harsher to the inside, but Thomas Ronhard's a lot more committed this time by. As in towards now, off the exit and in towards Spoon. Can Thomas Ronhard secure this move finally for P2 on the road with his, what is essentially the next race fight for the lead? Thomas Ronhard is going to be absolutely fuming in his cockpit. He really did dump the battery trying to make that move. <clears throat> and I think, out of frustration, we could see a dive bomb in towards the hairpin. As here comes Thomas Ronhar once again on the back of the Williams, in towards the braking zone. They go sending it up the inside. Is Thomas Ronhar going to make this one stick? He's going to have the worst off exit. But with the superior tyre grip of five lap pressure, medium compound of tyres, surely on the inside line, he's going to be able to hold off Shanaka Clay. But Clay will have that inside in towards Spoon Curve. And finally, three laps later, I'd say, than what he would have liked. Thomas Ronhar leads this race. He's 